Hey guys, welcome to my channel, Moonflower Tarot. So the topic for today is how does he feel about you? This can apply to anyone. This is a genderless reading, um, so you can flip the genders however it applies. Um, but I am going to be catering this more towards my feminine energies, um, just because um, the sheer numbers, um, most of my viewers happen to be feminine energies. However, um, once again, you can flip the genders, any gender. Um, and also before I start, I do want to state a very quick disclaimer um, that these videos and these tarot readings, they're not going to resonate for everyone because they are such general readings. Um, ultimately, all my readings, um, tarot readings and videos, they are for entertainment purposes only. Um, okay, so let's start. Uh, so we have three piles here. One, two, three. Each pile has a trinket on top. And um, so I want you to take a deep breath. Um, I'm going to count down from 10 and that's going to give you 10 seconds to decide between the three piles. So think about the question, how does he feel about you? This could be a romantic partner, someone that you have your eye on, or really just, you can just watch the reading not really knowing who it's even talking about and just, you know, kind of, um, you know, play it by ear, whatever what you want to do. It's up to you. Um, okay, so I'm going to count down from 10 and you can choose between the three piles. Um, so pile one, we have the star. Pile two, we have the red shoes. And then pile three, we have the silver key. Here we go. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Okay, so if you've made your choice, um, I'm gonna start with pile one and then I'm going to be moving the other two piles out of the way temporarily. We also have a new moon in Leo coming up. Uh, those of you guys who are into astrology, new moon in Leo. It's also Leo season. Okay, so pile one, you have chosen this starfish. Interesting, okay, so, ooh, one just fell out already. So how does he feel about you? Okay, so we have um, the death card. Don't be alarmed, um, that doesn't actually mean death. Um, but I'm gonna be pulling two more cards and then we'll get to the bottom of this. So how does he feel about you? How does he feel about you? Group one. Let's see, how does he feel about group one, please? Okay, we have justice. How does it feel about group one? Oh wow, queen of swords, okay, interesting. And then bottom of the deck we have the sun. Hmm. How does it feel about group one? Okay, so I'm seeing here you guys that This person, I think some of you guys, not all of you, you might have had a breakup in the past or um, there's something to do about an ending in the past with this person. This person, I'm seeing here that they feel like they're missing you, they're reminiscing about you with the sun card. Um, you brought a certain light into their life. I'm getting, some of you guys, I'm getting this um, really interesting um, past life energy with the death, um, justice, and then queen of swords. I'm getting that you might share a past life with this person. Um, you might have even had a child with this person in the current life or in um, your past life together. I'm also getting a lot of um, Leo, Scorpio, Libra energy here. So Leo, Scorpio, or Libra. For some of you guys, that might ring a bell. I'm getting that this person feels like 
even if you might be apart or even if you might be not together or maybe even there's a distance between you two this person he feel he or she feels like you are i think with especially with justice their divine counterpart and they feel like you are their other half that's somehow missing if this is somebody who's lurking around you i'm getting that they check up on your social media but like in secrecy this person this person wants to be close to you i'm getting this person really wants to get to know you to get close to you to really open up and wants you to open up possibly um but there's something in the way like there's something that is preventing them from getting close to you either emotionally or even distance wise um this person feels like a child around you they feel safe around you um you bring a lot of light and happiness a lot of healing there's something to do with like this energy of this person being a bit possessive as well with the death card um scorpio the card of scorpio um, and with Libra, it's almost like you two, this person feels like you're both two sides of a scale. Like one can't exist without the other. Um, this person, some of you guys, this person might even be obsessed with you, but you might have given them the cold shoulder or they feel like it's difficult to get close to you because maybe um, you could be an air sign, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, um, in your sun and rising Venus or Mars. This person might have Scorpio in their chart, or that might be you, or some form, um, some kind of Libra, Libra energy as well. Let's try to let's try to get more information. Um, let's clarify here. Let's clarify. Okay, so we have truth to clarify the death card. We have power to clarify justice. We have fear to clarify the queen of swords. And then we have fire for to clarify this card here okay so this person is obsessed with you i'm getting um some of you guys okay this might not necessarily be creepy um but for some of you guys um the fact that this person is like um checking up on you via social media asking about you whatever it is that they're doing it's going to come out into the light the truth will be revealed this person is actually very very possessive over you they it's i'm almost getting this vibe of like they want you all to themselves um especially if they have scorpio in their astrology um you may both have Scorpio, um, but I'm getting a lot of Libra, okay? Libra is coming through really strong with Justice and the Queen of Swords, um, either in their chart, your chart. I'm getting a lot of Libra in your chart. Um, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, uh, Mars, Jupiter, um, wherever Libra falls um, in your chart. With power, I'm getting that you might have had an argument recently, especially with the death card or some kind of breakup or some kind of like maybe some distance I'm getting. This is for some of you. And but they see you in your power. Like they really respect you, especially with the justice and she's the one. Look at her. She's got sort of an attitude, but she, you know, she's owning her energy she has the scales she's holding the scales in her hands and then she has a sword in another hand she's in she's in her own power okay and 
this person respects that about you and that's something that's really important here they really respect the way that you carry yourself um and something about that they like they might even put you on a pedestal sometimes um with the fear the queen of swords this person feels a little intimidated sometimes um by the fact that maybe you're kind of um you can be a bit cold like maybe you're the type who might be introverted sometimes or you need your space you need your own space from them so they might feel like they're afraid to reach out sometimes or afraid to really be completely open completely vulnerable with you because they are or maybe they're just afraid of getting hurt so maybe you're not actually um the queen of swords um entirely but maybe they just feel like they were hurt in the past by someone who was a queen of swords like i'm getting some of for some of you guys not all of you uh, a maternal figure or an ex of theirs was um very cold was very like queen of swords energy and so they might just be afraid of that happening to them again um so this could be based in reality or just based in their head um or their past experiences depending on whatever applies um and then with the sun card and the fire this person is extremely attracted to you um some of you guys have especially with the starfish i'm getting some of you guys have um cancer pisces or scorpio or you have extremely beautiful eyes that might be kind of like far apart i'm getting or maybe like um like maybe you are like eyeliner i'm getting that kind of like accentuates your eyes i don't know why that's coming through um some of you guys have really mysterious eyes and that's something that they really love about you um and with the sun i'm getting some of you guys have like something about something about you there's like this inner light that shines from the inside out and some of you guys have beautiful hair um some of you guys have like uh sun-kissed skin okay i'm getting that for sure and this is something that they admire about you appearance wise and also i'm getting here that they see you as possibly um the mother or father whatever applies um of their child like maybe you are the mother or father of their child or children or maybe they just like picture you in that way um sometimes like i'm getting sometimes they have like dreams um about you and scenarios certain scenarios like with the fire card i'm getting that this person has a lot of attraction there's a lot of physical chemistry here um especially with the scorpio energy there's like this magnetic attraction um and there's a lot of i'm getting a lot of eyes scorpio um this starfish here that kind of gives me that water energy as well water sign energy um with the fire some of you guys have mars and scorpio mars energy aries um i'm also getting that yeah some of you guys have scorpio or aries in your chart um there is a lot of fiery energy maybe you have a fiery personality which would kind of match up with the justice and the queen of swords as well um like just fiery as in you have like this powerful energy about you um i'm getting some of you guys um in relationships maybe you end up being not like the dominant one i don't want to say that um but you end up being the one who has the upper hand like sometimes but i'm getting sometimes maybe this is something that you don't always want to be involved in like that kind of dynamic but you always um getting that you often find yourself in that situation especially with the justice card power and then the queen of swords i'm getting that that's just a scenario that you find yourself in um but yeah this person is afraid to be found out like just how much they feel about you with uh the scorpionic energy and the truth but i'm getting that it's difficult to hide how they feel about you um this person has so much physical attraction for you though like with especially with the power and the fire and there's a lot of like red here 
um, this person loves to um, just sometimes like stare at you, okay, with I'm getting a lot of eyes. This person likes to to check out your social media, like I said earlier. Um, sometimes I think they just like to like just look up at you and just admire you I'm getting, like even if it's from afar. And like I said, fire, okay, um, and power, okay, there's just, there's a lot of Mars, okay, um, Aries, Scorpio, in your chart, their chart, uh, you could be Sun Aries, maybe they are, uh, Mars, Scorpio, Sun, Scorpio, um, Mars and Aries, Mars, Capricorn, um, there's just that, all of that Mars energy, and I think that creates that would create this kind of dynamic where you are very respected in their eyes but at the same time like there's so much physical attraction here especially with the power and the fire card um something to do with fire like maybe maybe you're like i said you're very fiery there's a lot of physical chemistry it's like just it's like electricity okay electric um, also, I'm getting that maybe they maybe thought about being a fireman or fire, something to do with fire. Maybe you have like reddish hairs or maybe, maybe there's something to do with the fire. Like maybe they survived a fire when they were younger or maybe that was you or something to do with I don't know why I'm hearing like man eater. <laughs> I know that's kind of funny, but I don't know why that's what I'm hearing because um, for some reason, I don't know, that's just what's coming through is that I'm not saying you're a man-eater, but maybe at first, maybe this person thought you might be a bit of a man-eater because we have the power card and then we have fire and then we have justice and there's just a lot of imagery of um, this queen and she's holding a sword. She's holding... A lot of swords so maybe they also kind of see okay like she's really attractive she's just i really want to get to know her but she has a lot of like sort of like walls up or you have a lot of like protection um in the form of like energetic like swords like you're always holding a sword i'm also seeing uh, some of you guys might have gemini you have like two sides to you sometimes um where sometimes you you know, with the card of Libra, like you want a partner, but then I'm seeing here with the Queen of Swords that sometimes you just need your own space, okay? And this is something that I'm getting that they've never really seen or um, experienced in a partner, like, excuse me, a partner or um, like a significant other or like they've just never really met anyone like you before. And I think they're just like really fascinated because look at this, look at all the eyes. Once again, they're just like completely fascinated and also extremely attracted with the power card. Um, and they're also a little bit, um, I think blown away by like just how attractive you are, but at the same time, like how, how much how much you are in your power that's what i'm getting and hence the fear so we have a little bit of fear uh which is which is natural i think in a scenario like that um that can totally happen um understandable um okay so what i'm gonna be doing is i'm going to be pulling one of these um cards here and I'm going to be pulling a door for you, and then the door will also reveal a message. So let's see what we have. Um, this is just going to be like a clue, uh, or more clues on what's going on here. So let's see. Okay, so we have this door here. So tell me in the comments below uh, if this door rings a bell, or if it looks familiar. Okay, so let's see what we have here. So, a cure for longing. Okay, so a cure for longing. Love is happiness, a spark inside. Live deliberately and choose boldly. Then you have arrived. Okay, so I'm getting from this um, door message to... Like you have a lot of walls up, you have a lot of walls up with the swords and <clears throat> it's really just saying to, you know, 
instead of being maybe like afraid that you'll get hurt, I mean, that's totally understandable, but maybe sometimes it's okay to let down the sword and it's okay to just sort of relax and just kind of um, express yourself freely, say what you want to say, express what you want to say, um, you know, feel what you want to feel and just kind of like let it flow through you, I'm getting. Um, because I'm getting maybe you're also afraid sometimes to let the walls down, to let your hair down. And maybe it's really just saying like, it's okay to just be yourself and to really allow this person to, to know like what you're really thinking. And I think it's ultimately saying not to be afraid of just being you. And there's a message coming through for some reason that's telling me like, don't be afraid to show them your real self because if they don't accept you as you are, then they're not the one for you. That's what I'm getting. And if they do accept you as you are and, you know, they might even love you um, just as you are uh, with all your walls down and all your defenses down um, when you allow yourself to be vulnerable and that's going to be the true um the reveal like when you when you are your most vulnerable self and when you just express yourself freely like does this person accept you i think that's something that is coming through um also what i'm going to be doing is i'm going to be pulling a mantra a mantra for you to you can repeat it to yourself you can just sort of think on it whatever you want to do here i'm going to be pulling a mantra for group one okay so let's see what we have so we have this here oh what do you know this totally reminds me of libra energy actually because of the balance meaning a lot of twin flame energy past life energy like i said earlier so let's see what the mantra is i teach people how to treat me waxing gibbous some of you guys um might even be um looking at this video watching this video uh during a waxing gibbous moon um but yeah this is a good mantra i teach people how to treat me so yeah i mean like i said earlier um you know express yourself allow yourself to be vulnerable be the real you and if somebody doesn't respect that or doesn't accept that about you then i mean you know what to do there's your answer um so yeah this is a mantra that you can repeat to yourself you can you know just reflect on like what does this mean to you how does this make you feel that's something that's really important as well um so i teach people how to treat me that's something you can maybe even uh, i recommend looking in the mirror and repeating that to yourself and you know seeing what happens because sometimes um these things can be really powerful okay so like comment subscribe share if this video resonated with you guys and um don't forget to hit that notification bell to let you guys know when i upload new videos okay so i will see you guys later love and light and i'm moving straight to group two Okay, so group two, you have chosen this deck here, and then we also have the red shoes. So you've chosen the red shoes. Okay. Okay, so group two, so how does your person, he or she, how do they feel about you, group two? How do they feel about you? Okay, we have Eight of Cups. 
How do they feel about group two, please? Ace of Pentacles. Whoa. Okay, I'm going to be pulling one more and then we can interpret. This one definitely wants to come out. Seven of Pentacles. Okay, yeah, I'm getting... I'm definitely getting something. Okay, and then we have the Hierophant. Whoa, okay. Yeah, this is really crystal clear to me. Um, okay, so... This person, uh, group two, they, I'm getting, already see you. Ah! Oh, excuse me. Okay, so my cat just jumped on the counter. But, um, okay, I'm going to just continue. Okay, so they already see you as um, someone that they want to settle down with, I'm getting, um, with the Hierophant card. They see you as the one, okay? I don't really know how to put it, really. Um, this isn't going to apply to all of you, okay? Obviously, because that's, you know, kind of a drastic claim to make. But for a good, significant chunk of you guys, like, whether this person wants to settle down or not in the long run, like, whatever settling down, quote-unquote, means to them, they really do picture that with you, with Hierophant card, because this is all about tradition this is about um almost like having spiritual ties it's it's not about like love in a sense that it's like lust or like passion as much as just it's actually even stronger than that because the hierophant the hierophant um the card of taurus is about strong foundations it's about having like a shared shared values like a really strong foundation of like shared values shared this could even be cultural values um just like personal values it could even be like having a shared vision for what you want um in terms of a strong foundation like we have a pyramid here um and there's just it's like a higher love i guess that's how you can say it, like a spiritual love that um is almost like ordained by like some divine uh almost like a divine universal law or something is what i'm getting it's like you're bonded together in this like strange way that you can't really explain um i'm getting some of you guys might even have um some of you not all of you have like a past life energy where um wow this person was willing to like do anything for you like either in a past life maybe even this could be like subconscious where they remember this from their past life or maybe you do but i'm getting more so with the red shoes that um i'm getting this person has a lot of capricorn in their astrology or 10th house energy so they could have like a 10th house stellium they could have um, Venus in their 10th house, they could have Venus in Capricorn, but anywhere in their Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Mars, Jupiter, um, anywhere in their 12 houses, there's a lot of 10th house energy or Capricorn energy um, coming through, or Mars, so Aries, Scorpio, but I'm getting a lot of Capricorn or 10th house, but that could be you as well. Um, so it's going to apply to some of you guys really strongly, um, but this person uh, in their past life was willing to like do whatever it took to get to you like i don't know if you guys have heard of um i think it's like eurydice it's some i don't okay you can leave a comment down below if you know what i'm talking about but it's like that greek uh story um mythology mythological story um about i think a woman who died and like her lover uh had to go down to the underworld to save her and it to be honest in a past life it might not have ended very well it could have but once again i mean we ha all have free will to um do what you will um to sort out our own destinies right but i'm getting in a past life that this person was willing to do whatever it took to get to you um they had to almost like go on an odyssey or something like that that's what i'm getting where they had to jump through hoops like do multiple um 
triumph over multiple obstacles which is why i'm getting capricorn and their astrology or like i said 10th house energy like the sea goat or the mountain goat that um climbs and climbs and climbs and climbs until they basically can't anymore or until they basically get to where they finally want to go and in this case i'm getting that this person that destination is you um and this is sort of happening i'm getting in your current life like in modern times like um you know how they say oh excuse me you know how they say that sometimes um lovers in a past life they don't always get to meet okay like it really depends on if you if some of you guys if you believe in reincarnation this is just for those of you who believe in that or who are open to that kind of idea um so like every time you're reincarnated um it's not like you're always going to be able to meet like maybe when the timing is right the stars are aligned um just so that this kind of thing can happen and i'm getting that in this current life um that's a scenario like the stars have aligned so you could finally meet under the same sky um in the same existence um and this is going to be for some of you not all of you um and so this is something that i think maybe both of you have felt on a subconscious level that this is likely the case this is likely something that you feel like this sort of like bond that almost feels like a spiritual with the hierophant card like a spiritual connection that you can't really explain almost like um i'm getting that when this person first met you like they you felt very familiar they felt familiar to you with the ace of pentacles this person really wants to impress you and the way they want to impress you this is what's coming through um ace of pentacles is with material achievements or like material success and this might be something that you value um maybe you have a lot of taurus in your astrology or capricorn in your astrology i'm getting some of you guys have capricorn moon mars capricorn you have um taurus moon taurus rising venus and taurus or venus and capricorn um that kind of thing or a lot of earth energy so taurus virgo or capricorn um but this person really wants to impress you and i'm getting that they are really really determined okay just like the 10th house sort of energy capricornian energy um will do like they're willing to jump through all kinds of hoops climb mountains um swim through swamps i don't know whatever it is whatever it is um they're willing to really do whatever it takes i'm getting to impress you and to really win you basically win you over and with the seven of pentacles this is all about planting seeds this is about um coming together and building okay not building growing a garden um like if pentacles can be seeds this is about planting the seeds um of once again that strong foundation that i mentioned earlier with hierophant um to really build a legacy and this person really sees that with you they are really willing to I'm getting do whatever it takes and especially with the red shoes it's almost like i'm getting for some reason i'm getting this imagery of like the the universe asks them like maybe in a past life or maybe even subconsciously like are you willing to put on the red shoes for um whoever you are group two and they said yes whether it's subconsciously in their dreams in a past life whatever it is and so they decided to jump through hoops go through you know climb mountains whatever they needed to do almost like going to the underworld right like look at this this is like underworld energy going to the underworld um to bring you back or to get to you or to win you over um and then build this beautiful legacy with the seven of pentacles which is all about building that um foundation growing that beautiful abundant garden um and it's just it's really really beautiful i mean i i don't think i've ever gotten this energy before in a reading um wow i'm extremely moved by this you guys um okay so let me clarify for you guys so let me clarify some more and clarify 
to clarify. Okay, so we have, oh my gosh, what did I say? Abundance, okay? We have abundance to clarify the Eight of Cups. Oh my gosh, look at this imagery. It's like every single time this person does something, like in the form of either hard work or like jumping through hoops or like climbing a mountain uh, metaphorically or even literally like climbing a mountain um, could be the case. Um, they are thinking of the abundance that they want to build together with you and this is something that could even be subconscious or that they haven't even uh, completely come to terms with even but it's there. This person could also have um, earth in their chart or water with the cups. So Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer, maybe that's you or them, um, and then Earth as well. So um, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn uh, in either of your charts. And then to clarify, Ace of Pentacles, we have support. So this person really wants to take care of you um, if you need. They want to offer you that support emotionally or um, maybe even <clears throat> with the Ace of Pentacles. This is all about finance. Uh, I mean finances like financial support financial success financial abundance um, This person is also very sensitive on the inside I'm getting for some of you not all of you this person could be like an earth sun sign so Virgo Capricorn um, Taurus Sun and then their moon sign could be water so their moon sign could be Scorpio cancer Pisces which means that on the outside they're gonna be very determined very like um, practical, um, very, I don't know how to explain it exactly, like almost like maybe even skeptical or sort of like a sarcastic person on the outside, but, or serious, okay, that's what I'm getting, but on the inside, this person is very sensitive, um, with all the cups energy here, um, so maybe they might have Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Moon, which is like their hidden side, their emotional sensitive side that maybe they only really reveal with you um, and maybe like people that they're very close with. Um, okay, so to clarify the Seven of Pentacles, oh my gosh, we have structure. Oh my goodness, I just got chills, you guys. Okay, so structure, um, like I said earlier, they want to build that really strong foundation, that strong structure with you. Um, and this isn't just coming from like a place of, oh, I want like financial abundance. I want, you know, the whole like white picket, vet, white picket fence and um, just to like do it because it's the right thing to do. It This motivation um, that they have to, to achieve this, to do this, to build this strong foundation is coming from this spiritual sort of um, place that maybe they don't even quite understand where it's coming from themselves. Um, but you probably feel it too, group two. Um, for some of you guys, you feel like this spiritual bond with this person and you can't really explain why. Like maybe when you first met, like I said, you seem like old friends. Um, okay, so there's boundaries. There's some boundaries that you may need to set with what you will and will not accept from those around you when it comes to what they have to say about the relationship okay for some reason i'm getting um for some of you guys that you might come from different backgrounds or maybe you're i don't know i'm getting like someone in their life um maybe doesn't think that it's a good idea like maybe your relationship because maybe you're too different it doesn't have to be that you're from different like cultural or socioeconomic backgrounds necessarily but you could be from <clears throat> you could be pretty different in like your lifestyle or maybe maybe your outlook on life like on a more practical level um on a more like 3d level but spiritually like you have the same values i'm getting and I'm, I'm seeing here that that's more important um like a vision for the future that you share um and then also emotionally you have this really strong foundation and it's like like i said it's coming from like a spiritual place and this is going to be more powerful than just like physical attraction or uh you know even just like um excitement you know this is this is more this is stronger than that um the hierophant card this is about like spiritual like a spiritual bond and that's not something that you can really 
just cut off just like that like even in the next life or following lives um like i said if you believe in reincarnation or you know are open to that this is not something that just you can just like cut i mean you can but it's 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 gonna be difficult okay so this could also be like twin flame or this could be um like soulmate sort of like energy that's definitely what i'm getting here um so i'm going to be shuffling a door for you guys i'm going to be pulling a door and the door will reveal a message and that might give you uh more of a clue about this person for some reason i'm also getting um some of you guys not all of you this person has strong brows like this person has like chiseled features like maybe like a square face or not a square what is like a square jaw um this person could also be extremely intelligent this person can be stubborn but they're also like when they say they're gonna do something like they they do it and they keep their promises and i'm getting that this person is very very dependable and they're just they're just like i don't know why i'm getting this image of, i don't know why i'm getting this image of a pyramid because it's just very like sturdy energy especially see we have all these pyramids here as well um which is like that earth, strong earth energy but then with the cups you know we have that emotional inside almost like something that's like hard on the outside but soft on the inside um that's what i'm that's the energy that i'm picking up and then we also have the pyramid here as well we've got a lot of pyramids something to do with pyramids so maybe in a past life um you know i'm just throwing this out this could be a possibility um ancient egypt or even like greco egyptian times okay um it's definitely coming through okay so let's see what door so tell me in the comments you guys if you know where this door is from or like what part of the world um this kind of architecture is from okay so the message all right so we have a stranger's grace ego fears the sudden danger but never underestimate the kindness of a loving stranger okay so this is saying like if you feel like a special connection with this person it's i think this is ultimately saying like don't be afraid to trust i'm getting maybe some trust issues with you guys um there's some barriers okay emotional barriers that might be sort of preventing you from really allowing yourself to i wouldn't say accept love from this person but maybe i don't know why i'm getting some of you guys are afraid of being controlled um okay maybe that's kind of strong okay more so getting you're like afraid of being like tied down to something that maybe you're afraid like you don't know if you can give fully to um or maybe you, you do feel a little afraid of being like controlled or you feel a little a little bit like i'm getting some commitment phobia for some of you guys um this could be vice versa as well um but for some of you guys i think yeah, there's a fear of being controlled, a fear of being tied down, commitment phobia. Um, but I think this is ultimately saying um, it's sort of stemming from trust issues for, for a lot of you guys. Like maybe in your past, I'm getting maybe uh, this has to do with like your childhood. Maybe there might have been, uh, maybe you have some abandonment issues uh, that need to be maybe delved into, addressed. Um so that may be something to look into for some of you guys, not all of you. Um, okay, so I also have um, a mantra that I'm going to be pulling for you guys. So this is a mantra that I highly recommend repeating to yourself um, when you look in the mirror or just, you know, reflecting on. Um, so let's see. Give us a mantra, please, for group two. Every day I focus on what is important, waning gibbous. Some of you guys, uh, when you're watching this video, it may be a waning gibbous moon. Maybe you were born on a waning gibbous. Something to do with a waning gib. Oh, excuse me, waxing gibbous. I've been saying waning. It's actually waxing gibbous. So waxing gibbous moon is coming through. 
So every day I focus on what is important. So it's something that you might want to repeat to yourself um, if it helps. You might want to reflect on this. You might want to, like I said, try um, sitting in front of a mirror or sitting in front of a mirror and repeating this to yourself. Every day I focus on what is important and it might shed some clarity um, on what's going on. Oh, and this is the image here. Um, I'm getting Sagittarius. I'm getting. I'm also getting a lot of Capricorn, okay? Um, wow, or Aries for some of you guys, not all of you. Or maybe even Scorpio. But for sure, uh, Capricorn is coming through in either of your charts, actually. Okay, so like, comment, subscribe, uh, share if this video resonated with you guys. Um, whew, getting a lot of 10th house energy here. Um, oh, and don't forget to hit that notification bell um, to let you guys know uh, when I upload new videos. Okay, so with that, I'm going to be moving straight into group three. Okay, so group three. Okay, so group three, you have chosen uh, this deck here. And we also have the key that you've chosen. Hmm, this is interesting. So the key. Ooh. Okay, so let's figure out how this person feels about you. How does this person feel about you, group three? How do they feel about group three, please? Okay, we had one just fly out. <gasps> okay, we have La Forza. We have the Strength card. Some of you guys have Leo in your astrology. Leo Moon. Venus in Leo. You could also be a Sun Leo. It's also Leo season and, and there's a new moon in Leo coming up. So that might just be the energy swirling around. Okay, so we have two cards. So we have the Seven of Swords. And then we also have the King of Wands. Okay, a lot of fire and air. So fire being um, Leo, Sagittarius, or Aries. And then we also have um, air, uh, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. And the bottom of the deck, we have the King of Cups. Okay. So how does this person feel about you? Group three. I'm ultimately getting that this person feels that, okay, the they feel a lot of, uh, excuse me, <laughs> I'm tongue tied. They feel a lot of fond feelings for you, group three, um, with the King of Cups. Like, I'm getting that maybe you've known each other for a really long time. Like, maybe there's a friendship that they really, really love uh, between you guys. Like, maybe uh, you might share a lot of things with each other that you can't really share with other people. With the king of cups like you're he's he or she is not afraid to be vulnerable around you um they might also have uh or you might have a scorpio pisces cancer but i'm really getting that um ooh, more from them i'm also getting here that that you guys have a lot of playful energy uh going back and forth between you two uh, with the Leo energy, fifth house energy, like you're very playful, um, or they're very playful. I'm also getting that you have this person wrapped around your finger um, with the force card. I mean, you are this person. They are the lion. So maybe, okay, this person has a history of being a bit of a player or maybe they're not a player but maybe they have been maybe they just haven't found the right person in the past okay that's what i'm getting or maybe that's you that could totally be you as well um you're very charming you have really high standards with the leo energy some of you guys i'm getting maybe you have cats or they have a cat um 
I'm not gonna lie to you guys, when this person first saw you, uh, they felt like they what they saw you as like a conquest, like, oh, I'm gonna like win her over, him or her. And they thought it was gonna be pretty easy to like charm you and like wine and dine you and like get you to be crazy about them, whatever it is, um, fall head over heels. But I'm getting that somehow the reverse happened where with the seven of swords where they got to know you and it could have either turned into a really long friendship that sort of became more than you both thought it was going to turn into or with the seven of swords i'm getting that you ended up basically pulling out the rug from under their feet when it comes to emotionally like the emotional connection like i'm getting for a lot of you guys that in the beginning they thought like oh like this is gonna be you know fun and exciting and whatnot but it ended up being that you uh pulled the rug from under their feet where they became almost like emotionally dependent on you that's what i'm getting um either through your friendship or because you allow them to be vulnerable or you're also very vulnerable with them as well but i'm getting that um, they feel like they can really be vulnerable and safe around you and they somehow I don't know how long um, it took or how long pass, long of a time passed by until they felt like suddenly I'm getting suddenly maybe for some of you guys not all of you there was a time when you sort of distanced yourself from this dynamic and or connection and they felt like oh my god like the rug has been pulled out from under my feet like they didn't maybe they didn't even realize like they had grown emotionally dependent on you and they felt like i don't know why i'm getting this feeling of like panic like they felt a little bit panicked when you distanced yourself or when you decided okay i'm gonna give them the cold shoulder because i need space or whatever it is um they felt like oh my god like this sort of feeling of panic like oh no like i become dependent and like where did she go where did he go um, so they became sort of panicked. I'm getting that this person is actually very emotional. And this is something that they might they might wear their emotions on their sleeve. Um, or their heart on their sleeve. But somehow, some, some way, they became very dependent on you. Uh, I don't know how it happened exactly, but... With the Seven of Swords, yeah, I'm seeing that. I don't know why I'm getting for some of you guys um, a campfire. So maybe like you went camping together or maybe something to do with roasting marshmallows is what I'm getting. Or traveling or maybe even like a road trip. Like something like outdoorsy. And that's when they felt like okay I'm falling for this person or maybe even they didn't even realize they were falling for you but they basically became completely dependent on you I'm getting emotionally um oh my gosh for some of you guys not all of you um this kind of reminds me of I don't know if you guys have seen the movie The Craft um but like you know that scene um this is for those of you who've seen the movie The Craft uh where one of the uh girls puts a spell on like the popular guy or I don't remember his name in the movie but he basically becomes completely obsessed with the main character of the craft and I mean obviously okay obviously it takes a really dark turn in that movie but I'm just gonna like cut that part out of this uh situation because that's not really realistic I mean you can't really cast spells on people at least not like that to that extent um and it did take a dark turn, but um, I'm getting that, yes, this person, nevertheless, it became emotionally dependent on you, maybe not to that level um, in the craft where they were completely obsessed, but they did become, I think, I don't want to say like addicted, but they became like so dependent and so reliant on 
the ability to basically be so vulnerable with you and playful and just like reveal their whole selves um in like the safe trusted space where maybe they were not accepted for who they really were okay either growing up or just throughout their life but you accepted them for who they really were and they somehow became dependent on that and then yeah without them even realizing it um and then it just happened okay and it clicked and with the king of wands i'm getting that this whole situation that i just told you about um that led to them being even more attracted to you but in a way that is more than just like physical attraction but it's more like coming from this place of i don't know there's passion with the king of wands obviously like physical chemistry and like passion romantically but at the same time this is coming from such a place of like not obsession okay that sounds creepy i don't want to say obsession but like such a strong loyalty i'm getting so much loyalty okay especially with the leo a card of leo and then with the king of wands with the fire so this person might very well be a leo um this person might have like a leo moon Ven uh, venus and leo maybe this is you maybe you both have leo in your astrology but i'm getting a lot of leo energy regardless for those of you guys who've seen game of thrones the bond between okay jamie lannister and cersei lannister that's kind of what i'm getting through or getting from this energy um especially with the leo energy uh jamie lannister pretty sure he was a leo or had a lot of leo energy um but i'm getting that energy from this person um obviously minus the creepy part you know in game of thrones where they happen to be siblings that's you know not really what i'm talking about here but you know that energy of like loyalty and that vibe that energy um for th those of you guys who don't know what i'm talking about you might want to google uh jamie and cersei lannister ignore the you know the creepy part obviously um but just you know the bond the loyalty that kind of thing like that energy that is there i'm getting that energy in this reading for sure and definitely that they really love being able to be vulnerable vulnerable around you uh some of you guys have really beautiful hair i'm getting some of you guys have like a very nurturing energy about you you might also have like a voluptuous figure uh i'm also getting that <clears throat> some of you guys are thinking about getting work done i don't know why that's coming through i guess because of all the swords i'm getting some of you guys are thinking about getting work done like whether it's like lip fillers or whatever it is um but i'm getting this energy here you don't need that you don't need that because this person is so attracted to you and it's not gonna be based on cosmetic procedures like going under the knife or needles or whatever it is um this is just for some of you guys and you also have this regal energy about you something about you seems almost like you belong on a throne is what i'm getting something about you like you're very classy you carry yourself in a way that is just very graceful some of you guys might have done ballet <clears throat> or maybe even you dance like some of you guys are dancers some of you guys are into yeah like dancing uh like performance like theater even okay so let's see so we have freedom so we're going to be clarifying so we have freedom to clarify force or strength we have endurance to clarify the seven of swords and then finally we have power Woo, we got power in another reading we have power again with the king of wands and then bottom of the deck we have abundance so much abundant energy we got abundance uh before as well but here we go again with abundance um okay so to clarify this further i'm getting that something about being around you and like being able to be vulnerable vulnerable excuse me <laughs> vulnerable around you and being able to sort of be there 
true self around you and you like accept them because it's like a safe space uh this person feels very free with the freedom card maybe this person even has sagittarius in their astrology uh, sun moon rising venus um, i'm getting a lot of like venus and sagittarius or sagittarius moon in their astrology uh for some of you guys but it's very it's a very freeing feeling like maybe they always felt like oh i have to like hide my real self hide my emotions uh or just not able to be truly vulnerable around anyone but they're able to be vulnerable vulnerable around you and that like gives them this sense of freedom the sense of comfort and Ultimately, yeah, they did become sort of dependent, um, as you can see here. And with the end Endurance card and the Seven of Swords, I'm getting that... For some of you guys, not all of you, this connection has lasted through a lot. Like, through thick and thin, ups and downs, multiple obstacles. Maybe even you've been, like, friends from a distance or just, like, really close friends as well. Like, really close friends, I'm getting more so for a lot of you guys for maybe even like four to seven years so like five years give or take um wow this has been wow but you guys might even be like really close share a really close bond i'm getting like i said some of you guys are dancers um they might be a runner or like something to do with like endurance is something i don't know if that rings a bell either in your life or their life is really important uh so like endurance training or something um, is coming through. And with the King of Wands and then uh, power clarifying the King of Wands, I'm getting that when this person is around you, they feel more powerful. Like they feel like they can do anything. And that's also something that they sort of became dependent on, whether they realize it or not, uh, subconsciously or on a conscious level. But yeah, they did eventually sort of become almost like addicted to you, I'm getting. Uh, not like in a bad way necessarily, just I'm getting that for some of you guys, not all of you, like this person cannot live without you. It's almost like if they are a sunflower, like you are the sun. And the sunflower can't live without the sun. So there you go. That's an analogy that, you know, sort of explains it all. And then we have abundance. So... I'm getting a lot of positive energy from this connection like i said when this person is around you they feel like they can do anything maybe for you as well like they make you feel that way um they feel powerful they feel like they can do anything they feel like they can conquer the world um you give them a lot of confidence i'm getting you give them a lot of confidence especially because you accept them as they are and maybe that's not something that they've really gotten with everyone throughout their life um and with the key, I'm getting that, yeah, like, they don't open up with everyone. Like, they don't give everyone that key to their true vulnerable self or to, you know, whatever inner workings in their heart or mind. Um, but they have given you that key, whether that's subconscious or not, uh, or conscious, on a conscious level. And I don't know why I'm also getting this energy of like a king giving a key to his queen and the key leads to a castle i mean excuse me the key opens uh the entrance to a castle for some reason that's what i'm getting um but this is more this is more like figurative and like the castle might even be like this abundance of love and emotions and like this strong bond and foundation on an emotional level okay wow some of you guys like like i said like you have this person wrapped around your finger and that whether you know it or not or realize it or not they panic when you are either not around there's a little part of themselves that like panics when either you're not around or you sort of like need to do your own thing or whatever it is um, or maybe when you're like gone somewhere else um, like traveling or doing like your own thing like this person is sort of like waiting for your call um, 
sort of waiting and waiting and kind of like telling themselves like, oh, I don't I don't want to call her first because what if I come off as needy or like, I don't want to seem too dependent. So I'm going to like wait till she texts or calls me first. Um, that's what I'm getting for a lot of you guys. And oh my God, it drives them crazy, um, especially with this all the swords and the endurance card. Um, this person might lie awake at night thinking about you a lot as well. And like analyzing situation situations or conversations that you've had. Like analyzing it, especially before bedtime for some reason, is what I'm getting. Okay, so I'm going to be shuffling a door for you guys. And the door will also reveal a message. So please give us a door that applies to group three, please. A door... Okay, so tell me if this door rings a bell for you guys. Um, wherever it is located in the world, um, I don't really know, but um, you can leave a comment down below if you know where this door is from. Okay, so we got this for another pile as well. So that's interesting. Okay, so we have a cure for longing we got this for pile one as well, so you might want to go back and watch pile one because that could ring a bell. We have love is happiness, a spark inside, live deliberately and choose boldly, then you have arrived. So love is happiness, a spark inside, live deliberately and choose boldly, then you have arrived. And this is a cure for longing. Um, and also, for some reason, this card is just really calling to me like it's just telling me like flip me over so i'm gonna i'm gonna do it uh, this as well like tell me if you know where this door comes from or this um entrance way okay so here we have sunset time here turns to release and unfurl old cords of pain fade and the sun's light burns so time here turns to release and unfurl Old cords of pain fade and the sun's light burns, sunset. So there's a lot of healing here. There's a lot of healing and like I said, um, allowing yourselves to be vulnerable around each other is really important, especially for you. And there's so much healing. Like you, whether you know it or not, have healed this person a lot. They also healed you a lot, but I'm getting, especially for them, like, I don't know why I'm also getting like, it's almost like the whole time that they known you, like they didn't pay you to be a therapist, but the effect that you've had on their life is almost like you were their therapist or you've had like a similar effect of like healing, like emotional healing on them, which is major. And like I said, they feel safe to be vulnerable and like, emotionally open with you in a way that I don't think they're able to do like I said the key they don't really hand that key to everyone or maybe they've never handed it to anyone and except for you because I mean this key is looks pretty important to me it's not given to everyone okay so I'm gonna be pulling a mantra for you guys group three so you can repeat the mantra to yourself, reflect on it. I also recommend maybe standing in front of a mirror and repeating the mantra to yourself if that helps. Okay, so let's see. So we have this card here, this image, and then we have this mantra. I assess matters carefully and discern wisely, waxing gibbous. So you might be, some of you guys might be watching this video during a waxing gibbous moon or something, maybe you're born on a waxing gibbous moon um so i assess matters carefully and discern wisely so i think this is ultimately saying to be careful with this person's heart and be careful with your own heart as well i don't know why that's coming through for you guys but like i said i recommend um repeating this mantra or sitting or standing in front of a mirror repeating this mantra um to yourself you can pause the video as well um, if that helps Okay, so like, comment, subscribe, share if this video resonated with you guys. Um, and don't forget to hit that notification bell uh, to let you know when I upload new videos. So I'll see you guys later. Love and light.